Well, hello everybody, it's day four, and with 1.1 released, I figured it was probably a good idea for me to start doing some YouTube videos to teach you guys how to get all these mods installed, make your lives a little bit easier. I know I do some of it on the stream, but, you know, what easier way than YouTube? So here we go, how to install Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge in your Minecraft client. So, first of all, Let's show you how to actually find your Minecraft client. To do that, open up uh, for Windows. You'll open up on your little search bar here. Type percent, app data, percent. Hit enter. As you can see, this brings up your uh, username, uh, app data, roaming file. Here, I'm, you're going to see that I have my .minecraft folder. This is a fresh dot, uh, or a fresh 1.1 um, Minecraft folder. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to delete it. Now, why would you say I'm going to delete it? You always want to start with a fresh um, jar or or Minecraft installation whenever you're installing mods. You start with a fresh Minecraft installation. It creates a lot less hassles and all that type of stuff. So go ahead and back that up. If you want to back it up, just save the file someplace else on your computer. Rename it, and uh, that'll back it up. So if you need to go back to it, you absolutely can. But we're going to start with a fresh one. So I'm going to close that out for now, and we're going to go ahead and download a new... Um, Minecraft file. So go ahead and put in your username, password. I think everybody knows how to do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're downloading our, our packages here real quick. So this will take just a second and um, then we'll go and show you how to actually install this stuff. Okay, so that's now downloaded. So next thing that I have to do is go over, go back to our percent app data, percent, open up that folder. As you can see, I've got my dot Minecraft folder back. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. In here, you're going to see bin, resources, save, stats, texture packs. Okay, so this is the basic contents of just vanilla Minecraft. Nothing added on here is what's going to be on here. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our bin folder. In the bin folder, you're going to see a bunch of different files. We actually want to look for the Minecraft file. It's a Minecraft jar. As you can see, it's an executable jar file. Right-click this. Okay, with this, we're going to open it with WinRAR. Okay. Now, you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip or any um, other uh, program that's capable of opening uh, RAR, RAR zip files or jar files. Um, so, whatever your choice may be. But we're going to use WinRAR in this particular video. Open with WinRAR Archiver. All right, this is going to open up the actual file. Oops, there we go. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different crap in here. That's pretty much what we need. All right, so now we're going to install Mod Loader and, or Mod Loader. First is always going to be Mod Loader in our installation of Mod Loader, and Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge. We're always going to install Mod Loader first. So I just double click the Mod Loader um, file here, or the uh, zip file, open it up, and this is all the contents of the Mod Loader file. And this is loaded with uh, WinRAR right now. Um, the links for these for Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge are going to be in the description. Just go ahead and download them from there if you don't know where they are. So let's just go ahead and drag. We're going to highlight all these. Uh, class files in here, drag them, drop them in here. There we go. That's pretty much it. Now that we've done that, we're going to close that out. See this file right here? Meta slash INF. Delete it. This is very important. If you do not delete this, your Minecraft's not going to run. So there we go. We've got that deleted. Go ahead and close this out. Close that out. Let's go ahead and uh, run Minecraft and see if it works. So we bring up the Minecraft screen type in our username which is already there and our password go ahead and log in let's see if it runs alright here's the mode gang screen and now pops up so looks like mod loader uh, installed correctly right let's check we're gonna go back uh, we're gonna exit out of uh, minecraft and then we're gonna go back type in percent app data percent open it up go to minecraft oh we got a new folder in here we got mods cool so now we got the mods folder in here. All right, in the mods folder, obviously it's going to be empty, but this is what Mod Loader does. It adds your mods folder. It allows it, um, Minecraft to load and unload um, or load mods uh, when you start up. So now let's do Mod Loader MP. And you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need Mod Loader MP if I'm just going to be playing single player? Well, because some mods require it. It's basically the easiest breakdown to give it to you. There's some more complicated explanations that you can probably go out there, but some mods just require it. And the mods that we're going to be using are some of those mods. So we opened up Mod Loader MP next. This is going to be in the next file that we uh, go ahead and install. This is our Minecraft jar uh, archive again. And then this is Mod Loader MP. 
we're going to do the same thing. Highlight all these uh, files, drag them over into our Minecraft jar. Pretty easy. And you can see we're going to double check. There is no meta-inf. There shouldn't be one. If there is, go ahead and delete it again. But there shouldn't be. So we just highlighted those, drug them in here. Now we're going to go ahead and close this out. Close out both those files. Close out that again. And we're going to test Minecraft again. You see kind of a recurring trend? Every time you install a uh, mod into your jar file or any mod whatsoever, you always want to test to make sure it worked. That way you have a starting point on what mod is causing you, you problems. So we're going to go ahead and restart Minecraft, make sure it starts up all right. So I got Minecraft loaded up here, put in my password, go ahead and logging in. And of course it's going to take a little bit of time because something janky is going on. But there it goes. Oh, Minecraft started right up. So it looks like we've got mod loader and mod loader MP installed correctly, right? Okay, so now the last file that we're going to be installing today is going to be Forge. So we're going to go ahead and open up our .minecraft folder, go into the bin file, open up um, the uh, Minecraft jar. So there we go. Open it up with WinRAR once again. Close this out. All right, now we're going to open up Minecraft Forge. As you can see, Minecraft Forge has a lot more files in here. I mean, it's all the way down here. So we can just click, drag all these ones right over into our dot .minecraft uh, or our Minecraft jar. Click, drag and drop them. As you can see, there's a new folder in here called Forge. So we're going to go ahead and close this out, close that out, close this out. Let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. Make sure it worked right. Type in our password. There we go. And it started up right. So there you go. Guys, that is it. That's as easy, it's so easy to install Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge. But I get questions on how to do it because sometimes the way the mods uh, kind of direct you to do it is a little bit confusing. So hopefully this kind of shows you guys how easy it is to install this stuff. Um, and the next video in this series is going to be how to actually install the mods. Just as easy, but uh, I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. But hope you guys uh, take care. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully this answered any of you guys' questions. Peace.